Hey guys, welcome to another episode, Ocean Addict. Um, we're doing something a bit different today. We're down at Broom Fishing Club. Uh, I do work down here. Great little club, community based for the kids. Um, best view in Broom, as you can see behind me. So uh, there's too many people fishing today on a on, uh, public holiday Monday. So we thought we'd uh, come up and do a bit of a cooking segment. Um, I always swore that I wouldn't I wouldn't do a cooking segment just for the pure fact that I am a chef and I'm trying to get out of it. That's why I'm fishing. <laughs> so I do fishing videos. But uh, Paulie's taught me into it. That was all my editing. So we've come out. We're going to do some Thai fish cakes today. I've got some uh, blue lined emperor and some X mouth prawns. So we're going to whip up my version of Thai fish cakes and uh, see what you reckon. I reckon they're all right. All right, guys, I've got all my ingredients here already done. So I've diced all the prawns up to see you've got a bit of texture. And then I've actually blitzed the fish in the food processor, so it's like a paste. So if you used to use a mash, that's pretty much the uh, end product instead of using mash. So that'll bind together. They'll be gluten-free. There's no flour in this. Uh, you can put egg in if you need it to bind it. So what I do is just put your, your fish and your prawns in. I've got all my bits here. So I've just got a red onion. I like to put thinly sliced red onion in there. The thinner you can get it, the better. You can do it on a mandolin or something if you want. Probably got about 500 grams of fish, about 250 grams of prawns. So I'll put that in. Chili, go on half seeds, half not. So it'll have a bit of go. So that's uh, half a big chili. Finally cut that up as well. I like to keep it fairly chunky so you know you're eating chili. Alright, bit of coriander. Everyone's favourite. Some people hate it. You don't have to have it in there. Alright. We got our green curry paste. So it's like a Thai curry paste, basically green chili paste. So that's your main flavour. So put that in. Probably about three dessert spoons, four. You want a bit of go in it. So you want salt, pepper, bit of normal soy, not too much. Then you guys, you want, want some ginger, about a teaspoon, about two or three teaspoons of garlic. All right. Now put the hand franger on. It's easier than mixing it by hand. Easy by mixing it with a spoon, so the hand fring is going. Paul was waiting for this. I'll just mix it up. You'll know by now if you're gonna need if you're gonna need an egg in there or not. This looks like it's binding up pretty good. Being that uh, fresh blue line emperor. Obviously the X mouth prawns are from down the coast, but just give that a good mix through. Trust me, they look better once you fry them up. So I've got my fryer on over there. At 160, 170, you don't want 200. You just you just burn the shit out of them and they'll be raw in the middle. This is all a raw product now. None of this is cooked. All right, now I'm just going to mould a couple out. Fry them up for you. I'm going to put the glove on again because I've got no sink here. So how am I going to clean my hands every time? So double fraying in there. Find it easy if you put a little bit of uh, water. And grab your noodles. These are just like a egg noodle, hocking noodle. You could use any kind of noodle you wanted. I'll just grab some. I'll just usually just tear them up. Do one last mix. All right, wet your hands a little bit. So you just roll them up to little bowls or something, just like that. And then just squeeze them down. This one about half an inch thick, because then they cook then. So I'll probably just do three up. And me and Paul will eat the rest later. So again, I find the noodles go nice and crispy. And again, and last one. 
So if they are sticking all over your hands, just use the water. Alright guys, so there they are made up. So I'm just going to chuck them into my fryer now. I find it easy if you put the basket down first. They tend not to stick to the bottom. And just slowly put them in. You probably do three or four on a fryer of this size. Alright, they're in. Alright, while they're frying off, I'm just going to make like a little Asian style salad, I guess. Just some slaw in there, carrot, coriander, cabbage. I'd put red cabbage too, but I forgot to get that. So I'll just chuck that in. A little bit of Thai dressing here I made. It's just lemon, basically it's lemon juice and pickled, pickled uh, chili, ginger, carrot. Put a bit of that in. Let's mix that up. Just let that sit for a minute. Alright guys, I think they're not nicely done now, nice and golden brown. So I'll pull them out, strain them off for a minute, as you can see, nice golden brown, nice and crunchy. So I'll just drain them off for a minute on some paper, absorb that oil up a bit. We've already done our salad, so, you know, I'm not going to be too chefy with it. Just uh, three of them, grab your salad already dressed just had a minute there just to uh sort of soften up a bit put your salad on and then i'll get a bit chefy you probably just put it in a dipping bowl or on the side or whatever sauce you want but on the the restaurant we'd probably do something like this caper bit of swirly job all right guys there we are that's my version of uh kimberly fish cakes not really probably thai fish cakes more just fish cakes um, cooked here at the Broom Fishing Club, entrance point, Broom WA, the real beautiful Roebuck Bay, pristine, pristine waters, just look at it, there's like a hundred boat trailers down there, 10 metre tides, the reason we're not out there as well, and um, just hope you guys really enjoy my videos, because especially my fishing videos, well and this, inspire people to get out, really see the Kimberley, give it a good old go, instead of sitting there at home thinking about it or watching me get out and do it watch me then go out and do it and um hopefully one day we'll uh see you out on the water we're gonna we're gonna make that it and um have a good day guys and cheers holy you can do it oh yeah there we go filming or you got both of us mm. Mm. Good stuff mate there you go you got ready ah. Pretty dogs here. He reckons they're all right. Oh, fucking 30 kilo dog. <laughs>